boxing to this day. Y'all know what it is. There we go. <laughs> it's been a while, people. It's been a while. My predictions. Oh, shout out to everyone that still follows, subscribes. You know, I've been putting out these videos for a while. You know, I've been concentrating on my boxing quite a lot. So I haven't really had time to actually sit down and record any sort of like podcast or anything like that. Just kind of got back into it recently. I don't know if you've seen my other videos where I've got gone out and got other people's predictions. I've even gone down the road of getting people to send them in to me. Um, but yeah, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be more active. I'm going to try and be more active since I've injured my, my hand. Um, yeah, so um, yeah, this is my prediction. Reeks Boxing prediction for um, Andy Ruiz versus Anthony Joshua, the rematch. I've waited a while to um, put this one out because um, I've been torn. I've been torn. I can see 100% how both guys can win this. Um... You know, back to the first fight, Joshua was doing well, keeping him at bay, moving around well. Obviously dropped him in the third round, you know, rushed in to finish him, which is natural because you've got your man hurt. Ruiz, you know, went back to um, factory settings, you know, roll, throw the hook, roll, throw the hook. He's caught him flush, dropped him, messed up his equilibrium, and Joshua never recovered. Even though he's putting some good body work. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's the last fight. We've all seen the last fight. It's Friday now, so I'm doing this the day before the fight, which is tomorrow in Saudi Arabia. Um, I just watched the fight again. <laughs> One last time. And... Um, I'm going Anthony Joshua. Yeah. I'm not sure. Maybe by the end of this video, I'll decide if it's points or knockout. But do you know what it is? When you actually watch the first fight back, um, when Joshua was keeping him at range, Ruiz wasn't a threat. And that's because Ruiz, he's got quick hands, but he hasn't got quick feet. So there was times where Ruiz was trying to jab his way in and Joshua was just stepping out throwing a jab and I feel that he needs to utilize that tactic in in the rematch like he needs to keep that jab there not this not this little flicking jab that he was doing he's got to make it solid make it solid make it solid so he knows it's come obviously very up the jab but from time to time it's got to be solid he doesn't need to the mistake I feel he made last time is when he likes to jab he likes to step in with his jab so if you step in with your jab and the other guy times you you've stepped into his fight distance now, he can slip out of the way, throw a combination and catch him. So yeah, he's got, to, he's got to keep his feet out when he's jabbing. Don't step in with it, just jab, solid jab. Turn the shoulder so you get the lock in it so you still get the same power. Um, and yeah, when Ruiz rushes in, just a little half step back, right hand. Maybe I am kind of thinking knockout. I think he can knock him out with that right hand when Ruiz tries to close the distance. Step back. Step back, keep the jab in his face. You can even like do a little flicking jab, get him tempted, maybe a little half step to trigger him to think that you're going to come. As you trigger him, Ruiz will probably slip, come in to try and catch you. That's when you step back, boom, right hand. Yeah, I can see it, man. Um, I believe he's got the ability to do it. Um, obviously, he's a lot trimmer now, trimmed down. So that should hopefully help his stamina where he's not carrying as much muscle mass. And... Everyone knows when you start doing loads of road work, um, coupled with your diet, the weight's gonna come off anyway and you're gonna get fitter. Um, obviously he would have prepared better this time, got the right sparring partners for the opponent. Yeah, he's just gotta move. Like Some people have been talking about um, kind of like fight like he fought against Parker, like back Ruiz up. But that's what I think Ruiz wants. He wants him to come to him because Ruiz, as I said, because of his feet, he's going to find it hard to close the gap. So if Joshua's coming onto him, it'll make it easier for him to time him, slip, get inside and let his um, fast hands go. So, um, yeah, I think he should employ the same tactics. Maybe not move as much, but just keep him, keep him at the end of his jab. Keep him at the end of his jab. Keep him at the end of his jab. Joshua needs to stop 
lead him with the hook against Ruiz. Because if you looked in the first fight, he led with the hook so many times and missed. Especially like in the first round and he didn't get punished for it. Where Ruiz now knows him. So if he does throw that lead hook, he's just going to throw a combination straight over it, which he did later on in the fight. So um, yeah, if I was Joshua's corner, I'd stay away from that lead hook. I'd only throw the lead hook once in a while later on in the fight. Once you've got Ruiz so used to the jab, coming, 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 and then just go to throw and flick and just change it into a into a hook. But he needs to be careful when he does it, that he doesn't overcommit, put too much. Well, that's the thing, leading with a hook, you have to commit to throw that shot. So I just don't think he should show it, throw it very often. And um, yeah, when he gets close, just tie him up. You know what I mean? Jab, jab, right hand, tie him up, spoil. Jab, jab, right hand, tie him up, spoil. Don't even try to fight on the inside. Yeah, you have got the strength advantage, but nah, just don't try to fight in Ruiz's, um, in his vicinity. Like, don't get in close and fight. That's what Ruiz wants. Ruiz can't box you from long range because you've got the longer arms. You're the taller fighter. Um, yeah, so... So yeah, I'm going Anthony Joshua by knockout. If um if he doesn't knock Ruiz out and he does the obviously the spoiling tactic, like jab jab punch, he'll go to points and he'll win that. He just has to box what, not look for the knockout. Just just keep him on the end of his jab. Like a lot of people are criticizing Rob, Rob McCracken where he's talking keep it long, jab one two. Yeah, he needs to do that, but he needs to also move his feet, and move his head. Throw he needs to throw feints to trigger Ruiz into walking onto a big shot, as I said earlier. So, yeah, I'm going with AJ. Um, obviously, knockout all points. It's not really given a prediction, but I think AJ is going to win. Um, I can see him knocking him out by walking Ruiz onto the, onto the right hand. But if not, I can just see him boxing clever and spoiling it, not making it an interesting fight for... You know, the spectators that are all out there, everyone that likes a big tear up. Um, but yeah, Anthony Joshua, I'm going with Joshua. So again, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Give me your comments below. Let me know what you think and come back for a review of the fight after. And shout out to everyone that's still following me and showing love all the time. Thank you. Thank you for being patient. And yeah, watch out, man. I might have my, my fights up soon. Um, I was kind of like waiting to the end of the season, I think, because they're getting rid of um the division that I fight in lightweight in the amateurs. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to maybe change my style a bit, bulk up a bit, be a bit stronger. So, you know, you can watch my old stuff. But anyway, follow me on Instagram, Reeks Boxing, at Reeks Boxing, Facebook, Reeks Boxing. And yeah, predictions out.